Hi Riverside School, it's Mrs. Meyer and I am here today to bring you a wordology lesson. You know at Riverside School we're always trying to become vocabulary strong. So it's our hope during this remote learning time that um, we can bump into your homes and by the time we return back together to school you will become even vocabulary stronger. So let's get started guys. I think I'm live. Alright, so you know that we are wordologists and we study words. There's our base word in wordologist. Ology, ology means study of. Ist means person who. So a wordologist is a person who studies words. You know, like ist, as in scientist, is a person who studies science. And naturalist is a person who studies nature. Technologist is a person who studies technology. Hey, I'm going to do a whole episode on ist and er and how they mean person who. So pretend I didn't even say that. So here we go, wordologists. At Riverside School, you know we love words. And um, one of the words that I came across yesterday that I was talking to Mr. Meyer about was the word wonky, which means crooked or off-centered. And I told him that my chair was feeling wonky. It was feeling crooked or off-centered. But it can also refer to like if you feel wonky sometimes, like you feel like you're off center. So anyways, we love words and wonky was a word that I came across yesterday. And part of being a wordologist is just noticing words like, oh my gosh, that's a new word. Or isn't that a fun way to say that my chair is crooked instead of saying my chair is crooked or off centered, calling it wonky. We are working to become vocabulary strong. Our love of words um, strengthens it so that we become vocabulary strong. So I'm going to pick up where we um, spent a lot of time this year, and that's working on prefixes and suffixes, and mostly talking about how knowing prefixes and suffixes, I'm going to focus on prefixes today, um, helps us to word jump. So word jump is when you know part of a word and it can lead you to an unknown word because you can kind of break it down. So we played um, wordology bingo and we used the prefixes therm, like thermal meaning heat or warm, inter, like interconnected, um, interact meaning between or among, terra, like um, terra, terratranium I guess. I don't know, I can't think of a terra word right now, meaning earth, and geo, like um, geography, the study of the earth, sub, like subway, meaning under, anti, meaning against, like anti-homework, being against homework, which of course at Riverside we are not because we are scholars, and tele, meaning distance or far off. But today I'm going to give a new one, and the one I'm going to work on today is multi. Um, sometimes called or said multi, um, meaning many or much. Um, I'm looking at that I in multi, and I'm noticing that a lot of times it can be pronounced I or E. That reminds me of when we were saying anti or anti. Um, remember that I buried in the middle of a word can make an E sound. All right, back to multi. It's a prefix that means many or much. Let me give you some examples. Multi-level would be many levels. Um, something that might be, I don't know, is Fortnite multi-level? I have no idea. I'm just trying to be cool and talk your language. But do you have multiple levels in Fortnite? Somebody can message me back or um, comment on there and let me know if Fortnite is multi-leveled. Um, my next word is multiplayers. I think for sure Fortnite is multiplayers, right? You can have multiplayers playing at the same time. Multi meaning many, many players playing at the same time. So multiplayers means many players. So think of some examples of multiplayers for yourself. Maybe games that you play. Um, I think of even like basketball, football have multiplayers, which means more than one player. All right, the next multi-word. Multimedia. Um, media means 
um, ways that things are presented. So multimedia is a way that things are presented that are multiple ways. Hey, there's another one, multiple. Like this is supposed to be going as a GIF and it's supposed to be moving. Um, but it would be pictures and animation and if we put sound to it there's another form of media with it and so there's an example of multimedia all right multi-story i don't mean story like you know i take you on a journey with a story from beginning to middle to end by multi-story i mean like think of a building that has multi-stories or many stories to it um, I know in fourth and fifth grade we read about Taipei 101 and for our third graders 101 refers to 101 stories um, of this building in Taiwan and that is multi-storage meaning many stories. Alright continuing on with our prefix multi, multi-grain. Multi-grain means many grains. So something that is multi-grained You'll see at the grocery store, there can be bread that's multi-grained. I've seen muffins that you guys have eaten for breakfast that are multi-grain. Um, if you go down the cereal aisle, you'll see that one of the ways they add nutrients into cereals is making it multi-grains. Many grains in there. Um, here are some English muffins, which is a type of bread that's multi-grain. Multi means many, many grains. So continue to look for prefixes, the multi-prefix in your reading and writing and use them in your um, reading and writing. Sorry, that came off wonky, kind of uncentered or wobbly. And remember with our target is concentrating on those prefixes and suffixes and using them to help you word jump. So there is that prefix song that you can go on in Netflix or um, YouTube and watch and um, get some more ideas of different prefixes and suffixes. Hopefully you feel a little bit more comfortable with the prefix multi and um, if you are using it in your writing or you see it in your reading, will you shoot me an email because I want to do some shout outs on this channel. So um, who knows what this will bring. I'll try to come in to your homes and do Wordology a lot, just in a quick lesson. And um, I don't know, maybe even one day we'll play vocabulary. All right, have a great day, guys.